John Cena versus Bray Wyatt, I think we can all agree, is the highlight of... Nah, I wouldn't say the highlight. With the WWE World Heavyweight Championship matchup, it's debatable. But I think RJ is going to argue that it is the sole highlight of WrestleMania. So, RJ, your prediction for John Cena versus Husky Harris, a.k.a. the <laughs> Don't renowned... Say Husky sorry, Harris. Bray Wyatt. But I'm say, I think this match, out of all the matches, has got the best advertising, has had the best promo, has the best build-up. It's been built up since the Royal Rumble when... when uh, Bray Wyatt screwed him at the Royal Rumble and at Elimination Chamber. And I feel like it's got the best build. It's going to be like, I feel like it should be like a thing like Bray Wyatt is the new guy, seen as the old veteran, stepping stone for Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt comes out. He might not win clean, but I hope he does. Mm -hmm. He might win by distraction, beat Cena, cements his legacy, kind of like the Eddie Guerrero Benoit thing. Go on for the next five, ten years. Hopefully he doesn't die somehow. <laughs> but I feel like him and Dana Bryan are going to be like the next top heel baby face yep. so why not get him over at the biggest Wrestlemania in the past Wrestlemania 30 get him over get, send him off to the next generation of wrestling I don't think a loss to Bray Wyatt would destroy him but I think it would be that much better had he won at Wrestlemania because he's been built up so great in the last month or yeah, so if, you know? even if Wyatt does lose and has a great match scene it obviously doesn't break his credibility Yeah, but it's still like that would be like saying if Batista lost to Triple H at WrestleMania 21 with that break his credibility. Like, he had a good match but didn't win the title. Yeah, exactly. But I feel like Bray Wyatt, like, Batista needed to win. John Cena needed to beat JBL. Yeah. Bray Wyatt needs to beat John Cena. And John Cena should see it in the way that triple, guys like Triple H and JBL, who were veterans at that time, that yep. I'm not going to be here forever. It's time for me to pass the torch to other guys. And I feel like Cena would feel like he's not the guy that, like, not the Triple H that he'll bury someone. I feel like he's, like, seeing that his career is starting to come to an end. He's getting older. Like, he has the Nikki Bell on the side. Like, maybe yep. eventually move on for a family. Get Bray Wyatt over, a young kid, and then just pass on to him. So I'm saying Bray Wyatt. Especially with it being WrestleMania 30 when they're starting to develop all this new talent. And you have Daniel Bryan go over on the same show as Bray Wyatt, just kind of ushering in the new youth era of the WWE. So I would love to see that as well. Now I'll get to my prediction in just a moment. But... Jeff, your prediction for John Cena versus Bray Wyatt? Uh, I actually say John Cena winning this one. Okay. Uh, the turn on Raw last night where John just kind of went crazy just definitely <clears throat> sold me right there. Because the whole time it was Bray Wyatt was uh, scaring the living crap yep. out of uh, John, but now John uh, got the upper hand last night. So I definitely see John Cena winning this one. The build for John Cena versus Bray Wyatt, in my mind, has been very similar to that of him versus The Miz. And I know that match wasn't great, of course, but the build leading up to it, The Miz destroyed John Cena, and got John Cena got one over The Miz on the Raw before WrestleMania. Okay, and that's been the exact same way for John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. So I really, really hope that Bray Wyatt ultimately goes over on Sunday, and I'll get to my prediction in a minute. But, Mike, your prediction for Cena versus Wyatt on Sunday. Oh, boy. Right. Um... I have Cena vs. Wyatt. Um, I agree with you guys that it has been, uh, I think RJ said it's definitely been the most, I don't know if it's been the best well-built feud, because I, I'm really looking forward to Triple H and Daniel oh, yeah. Bryan. That's been yeah. going on since SummerSlam. Mm -hmm. But um, I think promo work has been incredible. The Eminem song um, to go along with it, it's really cool. All that stuff. Um, I think you know both their, both of their promos have been amazing. But um, I'm... I'm going to go with John Cena only because he hasn't won since Survivor Series and, and it's WrestleMania. So for him to lose, you know, four straight pay-per-views and, and WrestleMania alone is, is shocking. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a situation where, like, like the match he had against Cesaro back on Raw like a month ago where, you know, Cesaro looks really, really strong in defeat. Um, you know, something like that. I do agree. You know, I want to see Bray Wyatt win. I think he should win. But... My money's on Cena. In my mind, people are only going to remember the WrestleMania match. It doesn't matter if they have a rematch next night on Raw, the next pay-per-view, the next night's dark match, the next week on WWE Superstars. It doesn't matter. People are going to remember that John Cena went over at WrestleMania. So if they're only going to remember that one match, and even if Bray Wyatt loses to Cena at um, Extreme Rules, I still very well think that only people will remember this matchup. Um, at WrestleMania. So I think Bray Wyatt should very well win here. I don't think it would destroy him if he loses here. But um, for me personally, I'm going to have to go with John Cena. I think they're going to have him lose. They're, I think they're going to have Bray Wyatt lose his first singles match. Um, no, actually, I don't know. It's really It could really go either way. I think this is the most unpredictable, ma unpredictable match on the card because they could easily have Bray Wyatt lose his first singles match 
at, on the grandest stage of them all, which is a huge feat, of course. But I could also see Bray Wyatt winning in the sense that if you have, if you look at it this way, the top Mania matches, we have four of them slash three of them if the same person goes over in the Daniel Bryan Triple H match and the main event. I think if you have The Undertaker go over, a babyface, you have Daniel Bryan go over twice, a babyface, you don't really need John Cena to go over. So I guess with that in mind, I'll go with Bray Wyatt. Up until a month ago, I thought John Cena was going over for sure. I've always wanted Bray Wyatt to win, but I always thought John Cena was going over. But as of this Monday, after what happened this weekend, Raw, I'm going to have to go with Bray Wyatt.